Uh, they would fall out and shave them. Two days ago, Paul passed away. Alexander developed polio in the summer of 1952 at the age of six, which left him paralyzed from neck down and unable to breathe on his own. He was placed in an iron lung for 72 years. He was declared the longest surviving iron lung patient in the world by Guinness World Records. Most of us would have probably given up in life, but not Paul. He graduated college, earned a law degree, and worked as an attorney for 30 years. He also self-published a book, which he wrote using a pen attached to a plastic stick held in his mouth to tap the keys on a keyboard. I have goals and dreams of doing some more things before I go visit somebody. See, I'm not sharing this to diminish the pain of going through the stuff you're going through. I know the circumstances might be hard for you right now, but if you're not getting up in the morning and being stoked about life, then you're not really living. You're just surviving. You are letting all the external things control you and your life. You are a victim. Enough of that. Yeah, because it's not